right, good morning. I just got done taking the garbage to the corner. And uh, I've been getting lots of stuff done over the past couple of days. A lot of loads of laundry. Getting the kids signed up for school. We were a, we are a homeschooling family, but my husband is the one who did the homeschooling. So since we lost him, I've gotten them signed up. My daughter at the local high school, and then my oldest daughter, that is, and then my youngest will be going to school with me. I tried to put her into a school that I thought would be best for her, but I guess with all I'm going through, I kind of missed the deadline. All right, so I guess I'm going to show you right now how I move the pigs, or not how, but where I move them to. It was a video that I took yesterday, and um, so this is the area where we move them from. See the difference in the color of the ground, how the pigs have disturbed the ground over here. I've reseeded some of it and you could see the little green shoots growing back. But over here I haven't gotten a chance to reseed as yet as I just moved them yesterday. So like, like I was saying yesterday the the key for me with moving pigs is you don't feed them first. You put down the food where you want them to go. They go hang out there they're happy while you put up the fence. And even if it takes me a half an hour to put up the fence because I'm short and it's heavy, um, they really don't move from that spot at all. So this is the area where we moved them to yesterday. My happy pigs. There's my boy Sugarfoot. See, one of his his front hoof is like uh, blonde. <laughs> it didn't turn black like the rest of them. So I call him Sugarfoot. And then our two girls right here and here. And these are our two older girls right here and here. These three were born on the farm. And then these two were brought onto the farm last year. So this is the area where they're going to be. There's a big pile of hay in here. And, um, okay. So I know they're sleeping in it and they're eating it. And so I'm hoping that they'll kind of spread it around and turn it into soil for me. And I do need to come out here and feed them. Uh, this fence is electrified. One of the other things that we did. Sorry about the shaky camera work. Um, this is my, um, fence charger right here. And I have it facing south. And I pushed this in as far as I could get it. Just a ground rod. And I attached it right here. I didn't test it, but I hear it snapping. And I felt it snap because <laughs> I actually got hit by it yesterday. Um, so I know it's working this is my water barrel that I use my husband um, drilled the holes in it and uh, just fill it with water every couple of days so I know they'll have water and uh, we put these um, pig nipple feeders waterers in it so that is how I move my pigs how I keep them watered I'm going to go feed them now and get ready for my day. Um, it's been really busy, um, but I'm making it. And I have some people that expected me to kind of be laying in my bed and, you know, I do do that. <laughs> Usually in the mornings, I say prayers and I tell God how much I miss Rick. But I know that having a pity party is not going to serve me. 
got to get up out of the bed and take care of things. So, you got a farm and animals still need to be fed. Garden needs to be watered. Garden needs to be planted. Yeah, I'm way behind on that. So I need to get on that. All right. Tomorrow is the memorial service, so I don't know how I'm going to feel on that day. I hope I feel like I feel today. Rick didn't want a memorial service. He just wanted to be cremated. And I did the memorial service because I know his family needed that closure. Um, so we, we're doing that. But I just want to be here with my kids and just stay close to home. Stay close to my spiritual family because they really do uplift me. All right. So thank you for watching. Um, this is Annette from Four Horns Farm. Remember to just grow something. Bye.